in this video we will take a look uh, to the slide of lingual tonsils. The slide is sustained by uh, amatoxin eosine. The lingual tonsils uh, are aggregation of small individual tonsils. For example here. Each tonsil uh, has a tonsillar crypt. This is a small tonsil uh, with a crypt. Here is another crypt of uh, another tonsil. And here is a last tonsil. So the tonsil uh, contains a uh, numerous secondary lymphatic follicles or nodules. For example, here it's a secondary follicle with a paler germinal centro. This is the second and another lymphatic follicles with the paler germinal centro called the secondary lymphatic follicles. And uh, the surface of uh, lymphatic tonsil is covered by stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. Uh, here you can see the structure of stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. This is the basal membrane and uh, a lot of uh, layer of cells. Uh, the apical uh, layer uh, of cells it contains nuclei, uh, squamous uh, nuclei and uh, the epithelium is called non keratinized. Sometimes it's a pattern of you know, structure of uh, the epithelium is disrupted uh, uh, by lymphocy lymphocytes uh, which penetrate uh, through the epithelium. Here you can see uh, the normal structure of epithelium, but here it's a, a damage. Uh, by penetrating lymphocytes. So here it's squamous cells, but the basal layer it's not visible due to the uh, lymphocytes. So this is the crypts uh, lining uh, the non keratinized epithelium. This is the crypts also. Uh, which lining uh, the non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium and a lot of uh, lymphocyte sometimes uh, form a secondary lymphatic follicles. Uh, so, uh, under uh, the lamina propria uh, with the lymphatic follicles, you can find a fibrous uh, capsule with the blood vessels and under uh, the fibrous capsule you can find a mucous glands. For example here you can see a mucous cell uh, with uh, darker nuclei located in the basal compartment of the cells. This is the mucous cells. And uh, you can find a striated skeletal muscle fibers. Sometimes it's in the uh, longitudinal section of uh, the skeletal muscle. You can find the changes, changes uh, darker and uh, lighter sarcomers. Uh, microfibrils and uh, here is a 
cross-section of the skeletal fibers. You can see it's a periphery located nuclei. Of course, you can see in the longitudinal section the darker nuclei under the sarcoplasm the periphery located nuclei. Of course, you can find a uh, uh, adipose tissue here is a fat cells and it also have a, a peripheral located uh, nucleus of uh, these cells so the lingual tonsils it's covered by non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium which line the surface and to uh, grapes under the epithelium uh, it's a lamina propria loose connective tissue with uh, uh, many lymphatic follicles uh, very often with ger pale germinal center uh, under the lamina propria it's a dense uh, connective tissue and uh, mucous cells it's a lot of uh, mucous glands and uh, uh, many skeletal fibers so that's, that's all